can't make it up north to see the total solar eclipse, Brown University students, they have you covered. Yeah, they're reaching new heights with a one-of-a-kind replica of the eclipse. Here's our friend NBC10's Liz Bateson to show us how it works. I have experienced full eclipses before. I've also experienced what happens when you try to funnel a large number of people in a continent uh, into a fairly narrow 100-mile wide band. Bringing the eclipse to your fingertips. We wanted to make sure is that uh, this was an opportunity to uh, teach as much as possible about the celestial dynamics. With some plaster, metal rods, and a whole lot of knowledge, first-year physics students at Brown University spent months creating their very own total solar eclipse. It was such a long process. Jason Wu and his classmates began drafting up the project in October, using math to make this model of the sun and the moon. We realized that no matter how well you plan something out, there will always be a uh, you know, like things that you don't see. From study sessions after class, drives to Home Depot to get supplies, and a lot of trial and error, they finally got the stars and the sun and the moon to align. I can't believe we actually got it done. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. The final product is now on display and being used as a learning tool for elementary school students across the state. It's really cool that it's going to help us, elementary school students, you know, like just like help them like be more fascinated with science. Including young girls who don't always have equal representation in STEM fields. Wu says the women who worked on the project were seen as equals and essential. I kind of thought of it as more on an individual basis rather than on like a male versus female, but I think it is really important to have diverse um, like perspectives. So even as the sky goes dark on Monday, we know the future is bright. After one year of studying physics here, they can actually translate that to, you know, something so visual, it's uh, really impressive. In Providence, Liz Bateson, NBC 10 News.